Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Miss Kia G. I know I said that I was going to be uploading a birthday haul, even though my birthday was in June and we're almost at, at the end of July. I'm sorry, I apologize, but anywho, better late than never, right? So we are going to get straight into it right now. Okay, so the first couple of products that I bought during for my birthday were Gucci lipsticks. The Gucci lipsticks, like, oh my gosh, like, where have these been? Like, I'm addicted to them. Like, they're taking all over YouTube, you know? And I and I blame all you guys on YouTube that have been showcasing them because now I have like five or six. But anyway, let me get to the first one. Okay, so look at look how they look. They look so retro and so classic. Like, reminds me of like, maybe the Harlem Renaissance era, you know? With the little Gucci on top. This, the first one I'm showing you is a shade called um, Julie Rose. It is a mauve color. See, it has the Gucci right there. Let me swatch it for you guys. Look at that. It's not a good swatch, but you guys can see. It definitely is a beautiful shade for brown skin. Like, I'm a sucker for mauve colors. Mauve and brown lipsticks, those are my jam. <laughs> and and these are a, a, a limited edition, but they're still on the Gucci website. Last time I checked, they were on a Gucci website, and they're, I, I want to say on Saks, but I'm not too sure. So just go on there and double check. But this is a must in your collection. Okay, so the next shade I have is Madge Red. Now this shade is a true blue tone red color. I would say this will be the equivalent to Cherry Cherry Blossom um, Colored Rain. This is I would say this will be like the lipstick form. Even though Color Rain, they do have I think they do have a lipstick Cherry Blossom. But if you if you like the Gucci, you're accustomed to the Gucci lipsticks, and you want like a blue tone red, look at that. Then you should get this. How gorgeous that is! Like when I put this on with my night night moth uh, lip pencil, you can't tell me nothing. Even with my mask on, you can't tell me nothing. Okay. Well, this, the next one is one I already showed case. It's the Mona Leslie Cameo. I'm still going to swatch. I'm going to put it right by uh, uh, Julie Rose. See? Let me turn this down a bit. There we go. See? It's more browner than the uh, Julie Rose. This is like an everyday color. Okay, so next we have is Joanna Burgundy. Like I wanted this. I remember when um, Bergdorf had their sale. I wanted it, but I was kind of skeptical on how it was gonna look on me. I wasn't too sure it would look too old lady-ish, but this is a bomb color to wear during the fall. Like whenever you just wanna run errands and you know, you just want like a little pop of color this is it this would be it see look at that and i love how these these are lipsticks smell they smell so good okay next we have is tasty hazel now out of all the gucci lipsticks i have i would say i could have done without this one <laughs> i really could have but i still make the best of it because i i did buy it from bergdorf so i can't return it because they have a lousy return uh, rules but um it is what it is it, it's not too bad depending on how you wear it I would not wear it too heavily because it'll look too muddy in my, in my opinion but um overall it's not too bad if anyone is familiar with um Uma Beauty's uh Aretha this shade right here is maybe darker I would say it darker than Aretha Okay, so my last Gucci lipstick for now is the Peggy Taupe. Look at this. This shade is definitely lighter than Julie Rose. I'm going to put it right on top so you can see it. 
and you can see the comparisons. See, see, that's Julie Rose, Julie Rose. And that is, uh, oh no, this is Peggy Tope and that's Julie Rose. Let me turn this down. See, Julie Rose, Julie Rose, Peggy Tope. <laughs> And these are all of my Gucci lipsticks that are in my collection. They, they last all day. Um, they smell good. And I love how they have a different variety of colors. Like if you want a nude, you got your, you got your Mona Leslie. If you want a brown nude, you got your Mona Leslie. If you want a pink nude, you got your Peggy Toke and Julie Rose. And you got a nice red and different kinds of red. So that's one thing I love about the Gucci lipsticks. There's so many options, you know, for different colors that you want. So I can't wait to see what else Gucci comes out with. If they come out with a bomb foundation, which I'm sure they will, because I remember way back when, I know I'm rambling, just give me a sec. <laughs> but I know that they came out with their makeup line like a couple of years ago, but I guess things didn't go right with it. So I guess they had discontinued it and now they have come back and formulate their stuff and it's now taking off because like I said, if they come out with a, a nice satin natural foundation, I will, I will get it. Okay. So next, my other pair, couple of lipsticks I have are the Carolina Herrera. Now, if you were to ask me what, which one I prefer most, the Carolina Herrera lipsticks or the Gucci like I can't, I wouldn't even, uh, I would not even be able to answer it, but I think slightly I would prefer the Gucci because it is a little bit more comfortable and they do have more options. So that's why I would like them. But anyway, we're about to get into the Carolina Herrera lipsticks. The first one I have is, uh, I should show you the, let me show you the cap. You can customize it which everyone should know, you can customize all the different kinds of caps. Yes, you have to pay separately for it. Shipping is a, is a, is a butthole, <laughs> but get what you should pay for. But the first one I have is the shade Birthday Red. And to be quite honest, the main reason why I even remember this shade's name is because of the case. Uh, yeah, the number is 415. This is Birthday Red. I honestly was not going to get this. This wasn't even on my radar <clears throat> until I was watching a video on, on YouTube. See, that's why I blame YouTube. And I said, okay, you know what? It doesn't look too bad. And I was like, I kind of wanted to add more Carolina Herrera lipsticks to my collection. So I was just like, all right, let me get it. And it was like, they only 10% only off. I can't believe that. Not even 20. But it's this birthday ride. I would say this is also like a running errands lipstick. Like you wearing like all black, like a white t-shirt or and some jeans and you just want to go get your nails done, go to the nail salon, whatever is safe or y'all going, whatever. And you want like a nice red, this will also be it. So the next one I have is the uh, Dreams of Wine. I have to remember the case. Like, okay, if I see the case, I know the shade. This is Dreams of Wine. When I saw this on YouTube, I can't, I don't remember her name. I think Deez of Journey, even though she's lighter than me. When I saw her put both these on, I'm like, they do look similar. But Dreams of Wine has a little bit more of a deeper red than Birthday Red. I was like, I still want both. So here we are. To be quite honest, I prefer Dreams of Wine. I, I like James of Wine a little bit more than Birthday Red just because it has that deeper wine color. Okay, so next we have is Brown Fundamental. Now, before I open this, let me tell you about this shade. Like, I remember I saw two swatches on, on Instagram. It, it was a white woman, but when she swatched it, it looked like a deep brown. It looked like... um. Oh, what's that shade? By Uma Beauty Tracy. Like that type of shade. I was like, okay, you know, I think if, if it's that color, you know, I'm pretty sure it would look good. I'm thinking like a deep brown or Pat McGrath's 
um the one i had shown in my last video can't remember the the deep brown color but anyhow divine brown that's what i thought i thought that was gonna be that type of shade but no i was bamboozled bamboozled hoodwink all of the above this is not a deep brown <laughs> i they got me they really they got me this was the only shade that I bought and I was like, oh no, this is not what I expected. And it's actually what I have on my lips right now. I have on Brown Fundamental and uh, with my Pat McGrath lip pencil and uh, ground control. That's what I have on right now. And it's, it's a perfect nude combo. See, this is it right here. Anywho, the next one I have, whew, what is this one? Oh, Red Obsession. This is Red Obsession. This is the second um, lipstick I bought from her, Carolina Herrera. And it's because I saw Vicky J when she swatched it. I was like, ooh, I want that. That looks pretty. See? It's like a burgundy color. Isn't it cute? Okay, the next one I have showed in my last video is uh good to be bad this is a dark brown color maybe we'll put this down because i'm not paying this that's the same price i paid for this i'm not paying it again mm -mm. see and it looks so it looks so gorgeous on the lips okay last but not least i blame vicky j for this because i remember when i saw her video and i saw this shade i was like oh that looks so nice because this is a shade that I wouldn't necessarily go for if I saw it in the stores. I was like, nah. But when she had it on her lips, I was like, okay, I want this. And I'm sure when I put Night Month on, it's going to look amazing. And the shade is, uh, let me show you the case. It's, um, it's this cherry pink. And when I tell you that this shade, woo, it is made for us brown skin women look at that it is such a summer shade i think i'm gonna change my lipstick and because i'm about to go out i'm gonna change take off brown fundamental and put this okay. on so the next lipstick i have is also a deep red it's um by killian is devil it's, that's the shade name is devil i love the packaging i love it just look like some kind of Aztec, uh, you know, back in the day stuff. <laughs> Look at it. See? And this is the shade. Look at that. Look at that. And it smells good. It smells heavenly. I don't even own a pair of Carolina, uh, or not a pair of, I, have, I don't own any of their lipsticks. I mean, perfumes. But smelling this make me want to get, I think it's called Good to Be Bad. But anyway, this is the shade. I, I, um, about the uh, the longevity. The longevity, I don't know. I'm still questionable about the longevity. I haven't tested it that long to say like, okay, it's worth the price. But um, I know for this lipstick, I cannot wear it with Night Moth. I can't really, you know, where the my lip pencil is shading my whole entire lips with it because it's gonna be too dark so what i normally do with this lipstick is just outline my lips and then use night moth uh, then use then put on the lipstick because it's way too dark but this is a nice vampy color it's i would say it's semi uh, patchy just semi but i'm still playing around with it to see like okay is it worth my money all right so next i have is one of another expensive lipstick and it is the hermes and this is in shade rouge h you can see it see and this one does have a smell i think people said it has like that old leather smell i don't think it's like leather but it has a scent to it. Put it right here. I was, I'm not gonna lie, I was very skeptical, skeptical on buying the lipstick because I've 
heard like a lot of reviews on youtube saying like you know the the matte lipstick they're not opaque they don't last long i was like really like it, for it to be this expensive and for it not to last this long it's kind of you know hurtful <laughs> but i can definitely tell you for sure it definitely does last long definitely is opaque it's a typical regular uh red lipstick and um if you want to try her mask and you're kind of unsure like okay you know based on the reviews i would say get the get rouge I, I wanted to get um rose boys like i said i love mauve colors but um that hearing that it wasn't opaque enough it kind of deterred me away from not purchasing that shade and now that i have julie rose from gucci i don't really really care about um rose boys and and gucci one is a little bit more cheaper okay another high-end lipstick i have is the chanel um this is the rouge obscure now mind you i only buy matte lipsticks i don't do satin especially when it comes to high-end because when i'm buying a lipstick i want it to last long I don't always want to just feel like, okay, I'm paying $40 for something that I got to keep reapplying every 20 minutes. That's stupid. I'm not, I'm not going to waste my money like that. So this is Rouge Obscure. Let me see. Out of all the matte lipsticks I have that I just showed, this Chanel lipstick is way matter than the other ones. And I don't really hear a lot of people talking about Chanel lipsticks. Like, don't sleep on Chanel lipsticks. Do not. Do not sleep on Chanel lipsticks. See, it is very, very similar to the Rouge H. Let me turn this down. Oh, it is down. See? If you want, like, a luxury lipstick and don't feel like paying the Hermes price, you can get the Chanel. It's forty dollars. It is a little pricey, but not as pricey as the Rouge H. Okay, the other one is not a luxury, but I've been dying to try it for forever. And Ulta had a sale, and I had um, I think I had like what eight dollars, six or eight dollars off. So I was like, okay, let me get it. And and they have free shipping. Oh no, yeah, Ulta had free shipping. So I was like, okay, this is the perfect time to get it. And it's the Dose of Colors in the shade Cork. I've only had this on maybe twice, so, but the two times I had it on, it's a gorgeous nude, it, it, look at it, it just matches my skin tone. And when you, if you were to pair it up with um, your brown lip pencil, and you're going to be the fly staying walking. Okay, so the next one I have is a Artist Couture lipstick i know i had said in my sephora haul that i wasn't really interested in it but i saw it in person and i saw a couple of more saw a couple more um reviews on youtube and i said okay well you know i can try it if i don't like it, i'll just take it back and it is power play now look at it it's kind of it's very similar to cork like i know you can't see it um in the video but it is similar to cork and um it's a everyday color when you just want to run errands and you don't know what to put on you just want to put something quick on i would say power play is a decent lipstick okay now i was also able to get the artist couture um lip gloss i hear a lot of people raving about it and how they like to put this on as a topper on their lipsticks um this is the shade on sensor 2.0 this is a little beige for me but i'm still gonna play around with it i'm gonna see how it look with i put oh, lord i'm gonna see if i if i put like maybe a mauve lipstick then i'll put this on top on how it will look but this is just a regular regular schmegler lipstick okay so the last lipstick i'm going to show is a sample lipstick i actually got when i bought a blush which i'm going to show you guys in a second and to be quite honest this was on my love list on sephora but i just never bought it and this is the shade doomy baby this is the matte nars doomy baby and when i tell you man this is like 
the perfect mauve color lipstick. This is the perfect mauve lipstick. Like I, I, I put it on once and I said, oh man, I need, I can't wait. When it, whenever this is done, I'm, I'm probably just going to order the, the full version. But since I have so many lipsticks, I highly doubt this will finish anytime soon. But yes, look at that. Look at it. Okay, so a couple of foundations. I think I already showed you guys I have the Chantecai foundation. I bought this for my birthday. Lord. And this is in the shade Suntan. And, and I love this foundation. I Every time my mom sees me in it, she always asks me what foundation I have on because it just has that nice dewy look to it. And the next foundation I have is the Tom Ford shade and Illuminate. And this is also a, a complimenter right here. Yes, yes, you will get compliments. Okay. So next, we are going to go with the Gucci bronzer. Everybody has it. I think everyone knows how well it works. Um, this is in the shade, oh, five. This is in shade five. And it's actually what I have on. And, um, if you were to ask me which one I prefer between this and the Charlotte Tilbury, I would say maybe the Charlotte Tilbury because it's a hint darker. Let me put a little bit more on. And also, I just bought this Morphe brush. This is a bronzing brush. This is in um, E59. It's a decent brush. See? See, it, it shows. So you don't have to worry about that. And it smells just like the perfume. Okay, next up, next up is the Gucci powder. Um, I have the shade in 11. I heard that there was a shade 12, but I couldn't find it anywhere. Even when I Google Gucci powder shade 12, nothing would ever pop up. So I think this is the last color they have, and I wasn't expecting it to be this shade uh, maybe i was expecting it to be maybe a little bit darker but however it is a good powder okay so i'm gonna compare the gucci powder to the uh my sephora micro uh, smooth see i thought it would be just a tad bit darker let me see see yeah i think this is you can see it better here i was supposed to be like maybe one shade darker i could have i'm not gonna lie this right here i could have done without but you know i still like it and i'm still going to use it because i paid for it but um will i repurchase this no i will not repurchase this but it's very cute to have you know on my dressing table and it's cute to look at but that i'm um, in but like i said it's nice to to wear it gives you that nice natural look. okay so the next one i have is from carolina herrera another item that wasn't on my list but I, I i like it it's the powder this is in shade i don't even know i think it's six i think six the six is the last shade i think whatever the last shade is that that's what it is and um this might be a little dark like it goes on dark you you gotta work it in you know, you can't use like a dense brush because that's what I used before because it's just going to lay there. But um, I enjoy using it. Let me compare the Caroline Herrera to the Gucci. I can open it. Oh, you see the difference? Do you see the difference? Like I said, Caroline Herrera is a, a little dark. Gucci is a little light. I can work with both. It's not an issue at all, but the the Sephora Micro Smooth, it will be right in the middle. That that one, the Micro Sephora one, will be right in the middle. So you see, if you really want the Gucci powder, you know, go go and get it because it's not like it's gonna make your face darker or whatever. But for me, I'm just accustomed to using a certain shade of powder, and that, that that's all. And Carolyn Herrera, you know, I, I like it. I, I love using it. I have no issues with it at all. 
Okay. So the next one I bought is a the Makeup Revolution uh, Glow Powder uh, Bronzer. This is in the shade Dark. Um, it smells good, and I and I enjoy using it. I don't use it too much because you know there's been so many bronzers out, so I, this kind of have been you know on the back burner a little bit. But it is a gorgeous bronzer if you're looking for a bronzer you know for you know not that expensive i would say this would be it the only thing me personally the only thing i really don't like is the packaging i wasn't expecting the packaging to to be you no know, kind of cheap but uh <laughs> but uh other than that i i, I love it okay and my, I think it's the last bronzer I have to show is the Sephora bronzer. I have mentioned this before. This is in the shade Ibiza. And, um, like out of all the bronzers I have, with the exception of Makeup Revolution, this, I would say, would top the Charlotte Tilbury and the Gucci. Because why? Even though it doesn't look deep, when you look at it, it doesn't look deep. It looks like a face pop. But when you put this thing on, you like, damn, you, you yeah. Cause I remember the first time I put it on and I used a heavy hand because you know how some of these bronzers, you gotta work with it. I, I used a heavy hand with this. I was like, damn, I put on too much. I was like, damn, I was like, oh crap. This, this is it. Let me swatch it. I gotta use a different hand. Like, yo, you don't have to work with this. And that's the reason why I said I like this one. See, you don't have to work a whole lot with this 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 uh bronzer because it shows up. It's only like eighteen dollars. This is the Sephora brand. Like, don't sleep on you know store the brands, you know, because sometimes they're a little bit better than fifty five dollar bronzers. And speaking of fifty five dollar bronzers, I think I already showed it already. I'm gonna show it again. This is the Charlotte Tilbury. Um. Bronzer, $55. Like I said before, between the Gucci and the Charlotte Tilbury, I choose this. Because it shows up a little bit more. I don't have to work and dig in, you know, a whole lot. Like I would have to do with the Gucci for, for the bronzer to show up the way I want my bronzers to show up. But between the Charlotte Tilbury and the Sephora, I would say the Sephora. See, that's it. Can you see, can you see that warmth? Do you see that in the Sephora? That's why I said I prefer this one. I prefer the Sephora. But either way, you can't go wrong with any of these bronzers because at the end of the day, they do show up. I am an N50, NC50 and MAC 420 and Fenty. Next thing I have is a, a blush from NARS. It's called Dominate. I would say this is like big cousin to um, Savage. This is big cousin right here. Let me put it on. Probably put it on right here. See, because it shows up more than than Savage. You know, it pops more. I would say this is very similar to um, Summertime Wine from Fenty. Okay. Last but not least, I have um, the Natasha Denona bronze palette. Like, I love this palette. Like, I don't know, me. I think she been listening to us, uh, you know, brown skin girls. They've been, been saying like, yo, some of your shades really don't be showing up on us like that. Because when I took my brush and went into suntan and sundown, like, they popped up. I was like, Whoa. Okay. So honestly, I would say this is like probably my second favorite a palette of hers. Um, the first one will have to be Biba. Yeah, I would say the first one would be Biba because I, whenever if I gotta go to work and I don't know what palette I want to use, I know I can always depend on those shades. And Biba and this, I'm pretty sure if you use these two palettes they would look amazing bad, like okay so now we are going to do some swatch comparisons 
And so I'm gonna start off with a Hermes lipstick, Rouge H. Ah, thought I wipe it off better. Apparently I didn't. Look at that, look at that gorgeous brown. Okay, then we're gonna try Chanel Rouge Obscure. Obscure. This is my third matte lipstick from Chanel. I, I, like I said, do not sleep on Chanel lipsticks because if you're looking for a matte lipstick, even though they, they can do more in the shade area, but you can never go wrong with them. So this is a Rouge Obscure, um, Rouge H. This is Carolina Herrera Birthday Red. Carolina Herrera Red Obsession. Obsession. See, let me put it right over here on top because it looks very similar to Rouge Obscure. Uh -huh, cause I ain't trying to break this. See, this is Red Obsession. This is Rouge Obscure. Very similar. If you don't want to pay for the shipping and the cover and all of that, <laughs> yes, Chanel Rouge Obscure. It was, it's definitely madder than the Carolina Herrera but it is cheaper. So you, you know, you decide which one is more important. It's Gucci, Joanna, Burgundy, even though I don't think it'll be that similar to any of these. Oh, maybe they are. Let me see. Damn, maybe they are. That's Joanna Burgundy. These are all the reds that I bought. <laughs> Like I said, this one is uh, Carolina Herrera, so this is the same one as that one. So just ignore that. I also got to swatch this. I didn't swatch Madge Red because I didn't think it was that similar to any of them. This is a blue base red. It's a little bit brighter and it's not really you know that dark, but that's it right there if you want to see it again. Now we're gonna go into the nudes. This is Carolina Herrera Brown Fundamental. This is Gucci Peggy Taupe. This is Gucci. Julie Rose. This is Gucci Mona Leslie Cameo. I'm gonna put it right underneath here if you wanna compare it. See, this is a little bit more browner than Carolina Herrera Brown Fundamental. See? You know, put in, I'm gonna put the same lipstick underneath Julie Rose so you can also see it, how it looks. It is browner. I'll turn this down a bit. See? For fun, I'm gonna put the NARS probably right next to Julie Rose. The NARS Do Me Baby. Let me put it on top because I can't twist my arm, my wrist that much. See, that's the NARS, that's uh, Julie Rose. This is, see, as you can tell, this is a little bit more pinkier, definitely more mauve But anywho, these are my swatches comparisons. The main reason why I did these swatches is because I know how hard it can be when you're looking for swatches on a brown skin. When it comes to luxury makeup, when it comes to lipsticks, it's very hard. You're like, where where are we? So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please thumbs up this video. And whenever I do have luxury items, I'll make sure I upload videos and do reviews or do whatever I can because I'm in that same predicament too. I'm, I'm looking for those videos as well. So thank you for watching the video. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Let's be friends and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.